to her sisters? Yeah. You say, did you it's say the Mercedes? Sports Den Fall Finale. We're back here live with you. We've run through some football teams. We've run through some volleyball. We've talked a lot about Dixie Blue and pizza. And now we'll talk a little bit more about volleyball and some cross country, but all of it, the common thread, Spring Lake Park. Couple of Panther volleyball players, two Lawrence, Keith and Woodward, <laughs> uh, and uh, Woodford, excuse me. And then we've also got Caitlin Finnegan, a freshman runner down at the end. Uh, let's start with, with volleyball at this point. You guys, just like the theme has been, closing the season strong with our other volleyball programs too. From your perspectives, how do you think you grew as a team this year to be playing some of that best volleyball late? Well, I think we we definitely started off a little slower than we would like to, but like as the season went on, we were like, okay, we need to like change something. So we like talked as a team. We went through like what do each of us individually need from each other, and so we just took that and ran with it, and we got better. We talked a lot more. So. Yeah, and I think last year we graduated a really big senior class that was pretty much all of our offense besides like Lauren and a few other players. So. We had a lot of younger girls step up and it took a while for I think all of us to get on the same page and be able to like have the success we were looking for. When you look back to that state, uh, that section tournament and you have the Irondale game where you're able to get that section win, how exciting was that for you guys as a team working so hard and again seven wins in the regular season or six prior to that, what was it like to, to get over the hump and get that victory at that stage of the season? It felt so good just because in the fifth set we were down big and we were just like okay like we need to get it together like we know what we can do and we beat them before so and we just came back because we were determined and yeah yeah it was really rewarding because we had worked towards the whole season because there were a lot of times where we just came up a little bit short but that was like i think one of the first times that we pulled off a five set yeah win so it was thrilling i guess <laughs> you mentioned you guys mentioned it both of you that it, it was a, a a year where you were losing some scoring, you were losing some experience. What does that mean for the program moving forward uh, at, at this point? And, and what what do you think next year is going to be like? Well, I think next year, we the players that were more inexperienced this season will have had a year of varsity under their belt. So they'll be, I think, more. This is going to be the sharing stick. OK. So we're having a problem. Microphone so issues. Sorry, right, just keep rolling. <laughs> OK. Um, I think they'll just be more confident in their roles and have more leadership they can bring to the team to help kind of the new girls next yeah. year. What about as, as somebody returning, what do you, what do you hope for, uh, for next year? Um, next year, I hope that everyone comes in and works really hard and we play with more confidence. I think this year we played kind of scared, partly because our record wasn't as good as we had hoped. So next year, just kind of playing like we have nothing to lose and just going for it, I guess. And, and other Lauren, let's share the, share the sharing <laughs> stick here. Uh, I want to talk about your coach too, Coach Johnston. She brings a, a lot of energy. We talked about Coach Gorman with Blaine. She, she brings a lot of energy too. Coach Ray Van the same thing, a lot of parallels with these programs. What do you guys as a team, what are you able to gain from her and the energy that you guys see from her and, and the teaching that she likes to do with you guys? Well, she's really like straightforward. Like if like this is supposed to be like how it's done and like, like we just like work on a lot of like technique and like like just focus on the technique and you'll get to the end result. So I think that's she was good at like teaching that aspect of the game. Yeah, the process. <laughs> like trust the process and you'll get the results. So that's just what we've been focusing on. All right, I'll, I'll come back to you guys for, for favorite moments, but let's send that sharing stick on down to the other end. We'll talk some running with uh, Caitlin Finnegan, a, a cross country freshman. Did some big things considering it's your freshman season. You were a state qualifier, set a personal record in the section tournament. What was that race like and how things finished up for you? Um, state alone was a big accomplishment because towards the beginning of the season, I, I was new to the team, so state wasn't really on my radar. It was just for fun. Um, but as the season progressed, um, I was really motivated to qualify. So. What do, you think, what do you think was the biggest thing that kind of put you in line to be able to do that? Like you said, I mean, maybe not on your radar coming in, but what did you see as far as growth from yourself over the, over the season that had you in that spot? Um, I saw my times improving as um, we worked and did more workouts in practice. Um, yeah, I mean. What about the state meet itself? What was the experience like for you? And does that motivate you to, to uh, again, continue to try and get back there? Uh, yeah, um, it was really fun to run with a lot of talented runners. Um, definitely pushed me harder. Um, it was a harder course, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Any other favorite moment of the season? 
Um, running with my team, that was, we uh, bonded more, I guess. <laughs> They've made you a believer at that point, right? You're going to come back and do it again? Yeah, I mean, they hooked me into it, so. <laughs> All right, and real quick, you guys, any favorite moments as we move the sharing stick back? Um, okay, well, I really liked our Matamidai game. That okay. was more mid-season. I think we won in four sets. Yeah. yeah, and I think that was um, really competitive. We were really close in ability with that team, so it was a good fight for a game, I guess. So that was fun. I would also say Matamidai, just because when we were going into it, I feel like a lot of people, especially their own team, like they were like, they came in and they're like, oh, they're the underdogs. And, but we came in, we're like, we were like determined to win, so. Yeah. All right, congrats on great seasons from all of you for your various sports, and, uh, and we'll talk to you again. John, I know you love Matamidai as well, yes. over to you. Yes, Matamidai, also fan. my favorite match of the season. Thank you for remembering that.